Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this great fried Thai sticky wing recipe. I'm so excited about this recipe. Stay right, tuned. So first things first, I'm gonna go over the ingredients you're gonna need to make this delicious recipe. So the first thing you're gonna need are some wings. I already have mine here cleaned up and waiting. And then here you can use, whether you like to use a bacon mix or all-purpose flour, you can use that to coat your chicken. Then I have some honey for my sticky wing sauce. Um, I have like an Asian sauce, some barbecue sauce, some brown sugar, I have some low sodium soy sauce, some butter, and some minced garlic. Also, for your chicken itself, if you wanna season it up, you can go ahead and do that. I have some seasonings that I use just for like whenever I'm seasoning anything. So whatever your seasoning is that you use at home, you can go ahead and use that. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is some black pepper. I'm gonna use the season, my chicken with some fresh, black pepper now I'm going to add in some Goya seasoning then I've been using this seasoning a lot it's like a jerk seasoning I don't know I think it adds a lot of flavor to my food so I've been using it a lot and then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Maggie a little bit, I like, as a little good kick to that. All right, mix that up. How do I know if I'm adding enough seasoning? If my chicken don't look white. If my chicken look white, it's not seasoned enough. That's how I know. It's true, that's what I do. If it look white, 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 I add more seasoning, do it. It usually works out for me. Just saying. You know how Jamaicans are. Some people um season their flour too. Or they might, I don't understand people that season their flour but not their chicken. I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. But to each his own, no judgment here. All right, so that's pretty good. Remember also we're gonna put a glaze on this so you have time I don't know, I just feel like when you cook, especially if you're cooking for guests, you always have to find a way like, okay, if this doesn't come out right, then I could do this. So I just feel like with this chicken recipe, it's like foolproof, because if you mess up on seasoning chicken, you can't mess up on the sauce. Like the sauce is just good itself. It's a great recipe, so it's foolproof. So now I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm just gonna coat it inside the bacon mix. So a easier way, a much, much easier way for this is to, um, get like a plastic bag or you can use a ziploc bag and put your flour in there and then you can put your chicken in it and just well like this shake it around twist it make sure it's closed and shake it around i like that method better but i'm only making a few pieces of wings just so i can show you guys so i'm just gonna put it in a bowl quickly so now we're gonna get ready to put this in the fryer. I have seven wings that I'm frying, so I'm just gonna fry them all at once. But uh, I just usually look, if there's no holes for my chicken, then I don't put any more in there. I don't like to overcrowd it. This is what the fried chicken looks. I wanna say this is like the halfway point. I'm gonna fry it down. I've been taking a fork and sticking the chicken. It's pretty much done because you see that it's floating to the top. But I like my chicken to be a little on the done side. And again, whenever I'm frying something, I like to flip it over. Make sure that all sides are getting equally cooked. So I've been cooking this chicken for like about 20 minutes. I want to say 15, 15, 20 minutes. All right, guys. So while my... Chicken is frying. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start the sauce. So make sure my pan is hot. I'm gonna put some butter in there. Now to that, I'm going to add some minced garlic. Who doesn't like garlic? 
That was like two or one and a half tablespoons. One, one and a half to two tablespoons. Ooh, that already. <laughs> I promise you guys, that already with the butter smells delicious. So I'm gonna let that come to a simmer. So now to this, we're going to add some brown sugar. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon. One more tablespoon in there. Mix that up. Let that come together. So now we're gonna add some honey. This is the honey that I added. Some regular honey from Aldi's. Now we're gonna mix that in. Ooh. Let that come to a simmer. I don't know, but every time I add a new ingredient, I like to let it come to a simmer. So I'm gonna let that come to a simmer. Now we're gonna add some low sodium soy sauce. Little bit of barbecue sauce. Then I like to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. This All right guys, so you see how the chicken is floating? That's how you know that it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and then we're gonna toss this in our wing sauce and then we'll be done. All right guys, so I had my wings here lined with paper towel on a plate so it could drain. Now I'm gonna put them in a bowl and we're gonna add the sauce to it. Anytime I'm, ooh, see that crunch? Ooh. You ever smell the seasoning on the chicken? You can smell it. So anyway, anytime that I'm like putting a sauce on a chicken, I like to put it in a bowl. All right, so this is how the sauce looks. Nice and golden. Now we're gonna pour that into the bowl. Ooh, you see that? Forget about it. Forget about it. Now, you can just toss it. Oh, forget about it. Toss it all in that sauce. And then you can look to see if you have enough sauce. So now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna plate this up. And then put some of this Whatever residuals, you can pour that right over it. All right guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe as much as I've enjoyed. I've already been like here snacking on pieces of the wings and they're so good. Again, they're perfect for a family get together, game night, Super Bowl parties. Anything you need to wow a crowd, this is perfect. You definitely want to try these recipes. So you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. Visit MissGoodiesKitchen.com. I'll see you guys next time.